Do you, um, do you want to do your thing? What's my thing? Intro the thing. Yeah, I'm seeing double vision because of the drinks. She says drinks, she means two. <laughs> That's three? You haven't drank it yet. No, I know. Okay, I'm going to do it. <laughs> you ready? Hey guys, welcome back to Retro Rivals. We're on a new month of gamer education. We've just officially crossed the midpoint. We're into July, so this is month seven. And this month we're going to do Modane Designs picks. And they are three great picks. And I can't wait to show you guys what we picked. Right. Uh, yeah, we- right, right now, let's cut to the video because he was kind enough to send us yes, a video. Yes, he did. I was really so, excited that he did. Cut to a video of him revealing his picks. Yes. Take a look. Hey there, Retro Rivals. This is Mondane from Mondane Designs. And here are your three videos that I have to challenge Jen with in her video game education. First up, we have Grandia on the PlayStation 1. It's one of my favorite RPGs. And it has a great narrative. Everything just flows. It's not all gloom and doom like a lot of the other RPGs of that area. And it happens to be my favorite. Next up, we have Castlevania Symphony of the Night, also on the PlayStation 1. And this is another game that is just really good. It introduces you to the Metroidvania style of games. And I believe this is probably one of the best ways to get introduced to that type of game. And last but not least, on the PlayStation 3, I'll make this one easy. Any of the Ratchet and Clank games, they are very tongue in cheek, but good platformers with run and gun elements. And I believe she would have a lot of fun with any of these games. Um, I would actually like for her to do all three. I don't think they would take too much time. Maybe Grandia could take a little bit more time than normal, but these are my picks. All right. So, Modan picked three games that were, two were very expensive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, 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 uh, Father's Day was kind to you. I do have one of those games. You do have one of those games. And I think anybody that watches this, this channel routinely knows what this game is. I think we've mentioned it a couple times. Okay. Yeah. So let's just get on with it and show which game you picked out of the three. Okay. So I just want to list them again, what he picked. We have Grandia. We have Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And we have any Ratchet and Clank on PS3. Okay. It was a hard decision. Um, like I said, there was one game we didn't have and it was very expensive. Grandia. Yeah. So I don't even have a... Just a digital. I don't even have a. a no, ROM. you even checked that out. Yeah, I thought I might have had it on my True Blue Mini, and I don't. I don't mm -hmm. have that one. So. Definitely a game I'm uh, interested in playing in the future, but I have so many games. I think that's. What, what? RPGs, those expensive RPGs from PS1, have just. They're gone. Oh my god. The prices are astronomical. Well, now. what we have noticed. That one is 150 bucks. It is. Like, uh, what we've noticed in just in the last several months because of the remake of Resident Evil nope. 7. You're thinking or of... Or Resident Evil. Oh my god. You're thinking of Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy <clears throat> 7. Final Fantasy 7, uh, we picked up a copy last year in Quebec and we got it for... A, 35? 35. Now it's doubled in price. It's doubled. We literally seen a copy at one of our local places we picked games up during our Saturday rounds. Yeah. And it's 70 now. Yeah. It's like 70, holy crap. Yeah. I don't know how fast that's gonna sell. That's, that's, I don't know. That's a lot. But people that love Resident Evil, or why do I keep calling it Resident Evil 7? I have Resident Evil on the brain. I don't know. Uh, panel, me? I guess, maybe. Where, where? No, <laughs> I don't wanna talk about it. 
So anyways, we're gonna, we have the treasure box. It's uh, not a Resident <laughs> Evil game. I will tell you that much. <laughs> it's not, because it's not one of his picks. But we have the box back and we're gonna reveal what we uh, picked. And I should say, we've been looking for this or anything like this for the last little bit and we finally found one today. So that decided the pick a little <laughs> bit. Yeah. Yeah. So we have Ratchet and Clank and it is Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction. Uh, 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 um oh, Tools of Destruction. <laughs> More Okay Tim. Um yeah, I don't know much about this game and as per usual if I'm going to play a game that you guys have picked for the month of Gamers Education, I don't want to do too much research on it because the problem with that and anybody that watched our last video of the Resident Evil 4 from last month will know that the problem <clears throat> with doing too much research on a game you're going to play, spoiler alerts, and also the fact that it's easy to take somebody else's opinion and absorb it and take it as yeah. your own and then all of a sudden you take on like they didn't quite like the game so you're automatically going into the game thinking i'm not gonna like that game Maybe, and i don't yeah, want well yes exactly yeah. and we've noticed that with playing res or uh playing the last of us two this month is that a lot of people are not enjoying it so and I'm like, I'm just going to play it for me and I'm not going to worry you know about what? anybody else. You know thinks. what? I just think there's just more haters now than there are people that actually oh, like things. Yeah. And the the haters are on there complaining about everything. So. Yeah. So I'm I I'm mm. I'm just going to play this with an open mind and it looks like a really cool game. Luckily for you being a new gamer. Yeah. That these are all new games to you. They are and that 10 years old, brand new game for yeah. you. Yeah. And I'm sure there's people out there that are thinking, God, I wish I could go back and just play that wipe the, the memory and play it for the first time. Yep. And for me, I'm playing all these games for the first time. <clears throat> I cannot, I'm going to at the end of the year after this is all done because I've been playing games in between too. Tally up all the games I have played start to finish. And I know this time last year, the games I played start to finish were like one. Like. <laughs> Did you even? Play I don't one even last know year? if I did, but that's okay. what this forced me to do. This yeah. forced me to take some me time, to have some fun, and I am sure I was like some other people that are like, "Ah, oh, you're wasting so much time gaming." No, it's fun time. It you, is so much fun. You could waste time sitting in front of the TV watching a sitcom or some exactly bullshit that. How much fun? I'm not gonna name the names of these streaming companies, but they just. But how much fun have we had oh. just sitting down playing a game together? Tons of fun. Tons, Tons of fun. Tons of fun on games that cost like five, ten bucks. Exactly, and I can't even go to the theater for that. Well, <clears throat> can't even go to the theater right now, so it's not even open. It, it is opening though. It is. Soon, wow. very soon. Here in New Brunswick, anyway. Yeah. Indeed. I can't wait to pay seventy-two dollars to go for, to the theater and get a popcorn. Can't wait. Anyhow, yep. yes, thank you so much for your pick this month, and I can't wait to give you guys a review of it, and you never know, I might be a big Ratchet and Clank fan and have to play them all. Maybe. Yeah. All right, till next time, guys. Till next time. Keep gaming. Game on. I got a tight note on the bench. She's yeah. rocking and rolling over here pretty hard. Oh, don't start singing that. You're going to get copyrighted. I know.